Hey Amayheads, my name is Rejade, and have you ever watched those Elden Ring lore videos and wished that they were entirely incorrect and full of misinformation? For no reason? Well, lucky for you, I solve problems that absolutely no one has. And today, I'll be going over the incorrect lore of Elden Ring. And it all starts at... In the beginning, there was a man. Bar, the White Mask, was the creator of the Lands Between and the Elden Ring. And once he created the Elden Ring, he needed two people to watch over it, Queen Minecraft and Radagon. Queen Marika and Starscourge Radon kept a watchful eye on the Elden Ring inside of Stormvale Castle, the main attraction at Disney World. But while they looked over the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, they noticed a tree was really big for some fucking reason. They went to it, but the Elden Ring carved out the inside of it for some reason and made it their home, calling it the Skadu Tree. While inside of the tree, Queen Melania and Ramana decided to have children or something, and their offspring consisted of Godfrey, Melina, Barf Drinker, Renala, Jerma, and some other people that existed probably. There was also some guy named Mark who held the rune for Destiny 2, the final DLC for that stupid fucking game, but he was not offspring of Queen, I'm running out of Elden Ring characters to start with M, and I'm also running out of Elden Ring characters to start with R. To find out who his parents are, we have to look at what Marmalade does. Malekith kills you. You know what other things kill you? That's right, Mars is actually the son of the Ender Dragon. There's also a high school with Principal Rolana who invented magic. And we can't forget about Ronald, the king of sacrilege. Ronald was huge into spiders, so he became a worm. And then after like 800 years or something, the Elden Ring, also known as the Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring, decided that it had enough of existing and got 200 pumped out of existence. So after Queen Margaret and Ronnie decided to craft 6 billion children on their crafting table and the Elden Ring dematerialized, World War I started. Yeah, I don't know why I got rejected from being a history teacher either. Fragments of the Elder's Ring were scattered across the grounds betwixt, and random little goobers decided to literally fucking kill each other for them. That's not even really incorrect, that's just what happened. The offspring of Queen Microsoft and Raru collected the scattery fragments that came out of the Elden Ring and started a civil war where they fought each other and a bunch of people died. Also, at this point, I would like to talk about the main plot of the Dark Souls 3 DLC, The Old Hunters, which is the DLC for Elden Ring. There's these three characters named Morgoth, Michael Lafton, and Radagon. Before the dematerializing, probably, Michael asked Radagon if Radagon would be his best friend until the end of time. Radagon said, fuck you, look at my horse. And then he fought Queen Mevan and got COVID because he's stupid, even though he isn't. I am lying to you if you couldn't figure that out. Morgan, on the other hand, was not offered this, so he took Michelle Obama on a road trip inside of a fucking egg. And then you beat him to death violently with your friend Batman later. But after Starman Rourke gets COVID, the dematerializing ends and someone needs to become president of the United States. And that brings us to present day in Elden Ring, also known as like 1527 or something, I don't know, where there's currently a beast hunt going on, led by some old decrepit man named Germany or something, some bleeding moon eclipse is happening, and there's a guy named Mario. You are on a hunt for the Elden Ring. Where the fuck is the Elden Ring? You awaken at the Church of Excitement. You rob dead people. You die. You are Hora Lu. And then you fight Godric the Grafted before you get killed by a bird. This bird is actually really important, as it will be really fucking annoying later on. Once you die, you awaken in the underground and are greeted by Sans Undertale, and then you fight Melania, the hardest boss of all time. The secret lore of this boss is that they actually invented swords. After dying 800 times to them and then beating them, you'll go down an elevator, break down a door, and then get arrested for murdering people. After refusing to show up to court and evading the cops, you'll find yourself here in Nebraska. Just up ahead is Var, who, if you recall, created the Elden Ring. If you talk to him, he gives you the Elden Ring. He also does a huge lore dump on you by telling you that you are maidenless, which actually means that you will die by unnatural causes in 26 minutes if you don't find the Elden Ring. Not the Elden Ring that you currently have, though. No, you, got, you gotta find a different one. Go further and you'll fight Radon, the final boss of the game and the creator of Var. Radon also created gravity and horses, if you didn't know. After killing him and obtaining the Elden Ring, you'll find Stormvale Castle, the very castle that Queen America and the Rapscallion stayed in before they decided to carve out the insides of a tree. Here, you'll find out all along, Kratos was the final boss. He's a really easy boss, so you kill him, obtain the Elden Ring, and make your way to school where you kill Radon. Once you finish that fight, you make your way to Washington, D.C., where you'll become the CEO of the moon. How the fuck did I end up in London? The actual lore of London is that Var liked some movie that was shot there so much that he decided to make it a real place. Here you fight the Godskin duo, the final boss of Bloodborne, and you get the Elden Ring. 
Afterwards, you go to the Fantasy Land of Canada to kill Margit the Fell Omen, but you actually don't obtain the Elden Ring. You get the Lord of the Rings. Then, you contribute to Global Warming. Wait, 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 did you see that? Zoom in! That's the Elden Ring. Finally, you fight Jesus and get the Elden Ring, and then you put it up on YouTube. Phew! Ugh, that was too much misinformation in one day! How do Twitter users do it? I hope I provided an insight into not the lore of Elden Ring and instead into my rapidly declining mental state so you can see the mind of an insane man. I will never recover from The Simpsons Hit and Run. In case you aren't a huge fan of misinformation and you want to finally understand the story of the game that you've put over a hundred hours into, then go to Vati's channel. He has a bunch of videos explaining the lore of Elden Ring and all of the other FromSoft Souls likes, so you should go there if you want actually good content. And if you want more misinformation, go on Twitter or Facebook or something. You'll definitely have fun on the suspect that is Twitter and the AI-generated image hell that is Facebook. I'm lying. You, you won't have fun on either of those platforms, even if you like misinformation. They're just hell. Anyway, I gotta get out of here and continue my search for the Elden Ring in my backyard. Found it. It's the Elden Ring.